What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskul. Welcome back to Resident Evil 4. The cabin is safe. Ashley's safe. Now we just need to get to, I, I believe, a different extraction point to get to another chopper, because our first one was shot down. In an amazing plot twist that nobody saw coming, because helicopters are the best survivors in any survival horror game, or any game for that matter. Well, uh, while we're on our way there, just like to note that there are a few, uh, few ammo packs around the cabin on the outside, but that's not the most important thing right now. This is. There are two routes to get to where we need to be. There's no more outside interference, unfortunately, but, uh, yeah. The plan is, from the villain's perspective, recapture the girl. And here's where we do it. They're going to send all of their forces after us to capture Ashley. One route has just tons of Ganados, and the other one has another El Gigante. And for those of you pointing out that I am mispronouncing it, I always considered it El Gigantic. I've just been going with that pronunciation. I've been doing it for years upon years. I don't think I'll be able to break the habit. Hey, a merchant! Welcome. I need to talk to you just for a second. Do you have any tune-ups? You do. Reload speed for the red nine. Sure, might as well do it. Um, uh, well, let's let's see what else is here. Um, I'm gonna do one firepower here for the shotgun because I know I'm gonna need it here soon. And a capacity never hurt, which means I didn't have to upgrade it. Oh, here we go. Firepower in the TMP, and same with the uh, stock. Awesome. There's upgrades. We're done. We're ready to go. Oh, which gate should we choose, left or right? You know what? I'm thinking right. I'm going to be showing these routes off via lowest difficulty to highest, in my own personal opinion. The right path is so much easier than the one on the left, and you'll see what I mean when we actually go in here. Here we go. Our next challenge, we need to protect Ashley from a different camera angle. There is a reason they're showing you that, and uh, I want to let you in on a little tip. Get out your rifle, and uh, you see that on the door over there? Shoot those off. There's one. There's two. And there's three. Just as an extra safety precaution. Be sure to have everything reloaded and ready. There's a reason they're showing you that upward shot. There's a reason they're showing you this long hallway. Because something's probably going to show up. I bet you can't guess what it is. Hey, look at that. Another El Gigante. But now we have a, a new line of defense, I guess you would say. Ashley actually points up to it, but I, I want to make sure that, you know, she gets out of the way because this might kill her. Or unless I completely miss. Oh, all right. This is actually really good that he grabbed me instead of Ashley. Ashley's very brittle. Leon can take a few more hits than her. But, uh, let's not let's not see how many hits she can take. Let's actually uh, try to avoid that at all costs. Oh, uh, nope! Ah, oh, crap. He actually busted the house. Uh, a few of you actually mentioned that if El Gigante ever destroys a house... I am really low on health. That uh, any items in there, you might miss one item that could have been in that house if it stayed intact. So I believe I lost an ammo pack in there, unfortunately. Uh, I really don't want to do this, but might as well do it just to be safe. I'm gonna blast the chains off that door, and he's destroyed every single house. Wait. Alright, we got him. Got him once. We should be good. Go up here, go ahead and climb on him. I'm gonna try to conserve my ammo since I want to show off both paths. And thankfully, we recently had a firepower upgrade to the TMP, which means I should be able to just pump him full of bullets, and he should just, uh, die? Yeah, it does. Alright. This should be it. I've done enough damage to him. If the music stops, that'll be it. Listen. We did it. Sweet. Second El Gigante is down. Oh, wait. Yeah, something you didn't... Oh, jeez, that camera. Something you didn't have to do the first time you fought this guy because it was done via cutscene. You actually have to dodge out of the way when this giant falls. Which can lead to something really funny. Little secret up there. If you actually look at your map, there are two stars, one on each of these two paths. That's your first uh, main treasure that you want to get, and here's what we came here for. 
the old key. The reason you need this is that's your way through. If you wanted to just run past El Gigante, you can. Because right there, there's the boulder. That If you would have had that uh, go in front of him, he would have had to destroy that first to get to you. So basically, if you want to do a complete speed run of this, knock down the boulder, and then just run. If you have the TMP or something else that shoots extremely fast, you can take out those chains, no problem. If you pre-shoot them, you can do that. This place is really easy to get through, and that's why I say this is the easiest one. For one, you've already fought one of these guys. So you know how to kill him. It, you can actually shoot the parasite. I mentioned that during our first fight. But the main thing you want to go, I believe it's in the second cabin. You get the old key, and then you're done. You don't even have to kill him. But since I want to show everything off, let's combine this, and we're missing one gem for the elegant mask. All right, we need to go back. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, the second path, it just has a lot of ganados. I've already fought tons of those. It shouldn't be bad, right? No, no. Fighting one giant is a lot worse than fighting a bunch of guys, right? Uh. Here we are at the second path. Now, uh, back when I first started playing this, I thought you could only choose one path, and that was it. You were stuck with the path you chose. But no, it turns out if you go back, you can actually go down the second path. And this one is... Uh, I've always considered this one hard, just because there's going to be a lot more adversity. When the note says a lot of Ganados, they aren't kidding. But it's also the introduction of a quote-unquote new enemy type. Oh boy. And because you're going to have multiple targets attacking you at the same time, like, oh, look at that already. There's already a lady running after me. These guys will try and take Ashley away. They won't specifically try to kill you all the time. They're going to go after Ashley. So what I like to do is, at the very start when the music begins, have her hide, kill everything until the music stops, and then we... Oh, there's still one more guy. There we go. Knock him down. Shouldn't be too bad. I haven't had a parasite in a while. And speak of the devil. There's a parasite right there. Uh, there we go. And sweet! Music's done, which means there is no more adversity around here. Uh, this place I also consider kinda maze-like. It totally isn't by any stretch of the imagination, but when I went through this my first time, I got lost. Especially when it comes to uh, me being young and silly and never buying a map. And also thinking, you know, I don't need no friggin' map, I can figure this out myself. And running around in circles a lot. But thankfully, I've become more mature as I've gotten older, and d d I do less stupid things, let's say that. I mean, I still goof around in this game, don't get me wrong, but yeah, a lot less stupid. Like making sure I know where the treasure is before coming in here. It was funny, when I was uh, practicing this game for the Let's Play, I missed the treasure in here. <laughs> I went through the uh, uh, a segment of No Return where I couldn't come back to this chapter, and uh, I was doing it all on one save file instead of uh, separate save slots, as I'm doing for this Let's Play. And I missed it forever! Not making that mistake again. Let's wipe out the rest of these Ganados around here. I always thought there were, like, tons more. Maybe it's because they always ganged up on me, and I always had to deal with, like, one or two parasites. It, it gets rough sometimes when you're running around here. Green herb right there, awesome. Now, let me check my surroundings to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, I will say there's one segment of this area that I've missed. I didn't miss much. It's just a couple items. Uh, and you can probably tell this is post-commentary. So let me introduce you to the new slash not new enemy type. Jump down here and... Chainsaw Sisters! They're the best! And a bunch of Ganados spawn out of nowhere! The strategy I always use, go down there, start the fight with them, and then run. Just run away. There's a couple ladders that they're coming up. You don't want to be down there, because it's really easy to die. And then come over to where you, you know, stick Ashley in a corner, make sure she just stays in there while you take care of business. And have them come to you. 
that's the easiest way to get rid of these guys. I mean, right now you should be decked out with plenty of ammunition and plenty of guns to take these uh, ladies out. Unless you're doing a challenge run, which should be interesting later on in this Let's Play. Oh, good. They got rid of the Parasite, too. I would actually suggest using using really dirty tactics against these chainsaw women. Ow. I normally mess around with enemies that can instantly kill me. And uh, you always want to aim for the face. Oh! Okay, good. Aim for the face, aim for the knees to knock them down immediately. And they aren't that difficult. Again, maybe it's because I'm more mature and I'm actually paying attention to how much damage I'm doing to enemies. But when I was younger, I always considered, like, any enemy with a chainsaw was nearly impossible to kill. I, again, maybe I just wasn't upgrading the right things. Maybe I just didn't know how to fight them properly. But I was considered this route to be harder because of those chainsaw women. And also, I was really terrible at third-person shooters, so I was wasting ammo. Like I am now, but... Imagine that being even worse. Yeah, I was pretty bad back in the day. Thankfully, I got better with age and practice. Come on down, Ashley. And this is the only reason you needed to kill them, by the way. You had to get the key to move on with the rest of this area. We're not even close to being done. We're about at the halfway point. They still have one little bit of challenge for you to go through. Just making sure I'm not missing anything. I did miss uh, one ladder. I believe there's just a green herb past there. There you go. All of that, just to move forward. Now, right there. See it? There's a star. That means there's a treasure nearby. I want it. Uh, let's see. It's right here. This is how I missed it when I was practicing. Just ran on by, continuing like nothing would happen. And there we go. I missed this entire area. I will say it is a bit... Not Wait. confusing, but really easy to miss. Because you come in here and you see a ladder downwards. Go down there, awesome. I get a hand grenade. Great. What do we have in here? Handgun ammo, sweet. And not a lot else that's down here. Alright, so maybe this is just a place to get a little bit of hey, ammunition. But, at? over to the right, out of your field of vision, is a window you can go through. Come all the way back here, and here's your reward. In one of these barrels, there's a flash grenade and the red gem. Head over here. And by this point, you should have the elegant mask with all three gems in it. Yeah. Looks great. Oh, thank God. Now I can sell that thing and not even look at it anymore. Makes me feel good that we're Follow. getting all the treasures and I can sell them for a high price. This is the last segment of the left path. And this part can be kind of mean. You have a lot of Ganados that are going to be spawning and coming right towards you. And the thing is, if my theory was correct from the last episode and in thinking that if any enemy sees you have Ashley hide, they'll come after her? Well, let's go ahead and test that theory. If any of them get close enough to me, they're probably just going to target me. I wonder, did they actually do it? Did they actually see me? Am I just spouting BS? I wouldn't be surprised. They're getting really close. Here you go. Hand grenade. Boom! <laughs> wow, that did a lot. Jeez. Knocked out all but one. There we go. Oh, got a parasite. Crap. Yeah, you're also, you also have to deal with a lot more parasites. That's another reason I consider this the harder path. Dealing with one giant target instead of, like, close to 30 smaller targets that have a possibility of having a second phase... Fighting El Gigante is a lot easier. Well, there we go. We're all done. Let's pick up our spoils from that amazing grenade throw. That that did a lot more than I expected. Ah, good. All of that's done and over with. Ashley, we're home free. Oh, and in case you were wondering why we actually couldn't pass through the door on the other end, because if you go through the El Gigante door, 
and you come out, you actually see the door that's not locked or anything. But here's the only reason you couldn't go through. They barred the other side. Let's head through. But now, we're finished with this episode, so I want to show some things off. First off, I got curious. Can you drop the rock on the parasite? No. Well, maybe I did it wrong. Here, let's try again. Let's get him closer. And I actually want to see this. Can it work? No, it actually moved him out of the way. Good to know. But there is one thing you can do with the rock, and it's actually concerning Ashley. If El Gigante picks up Ashley, you can have him drop her by dropping a rock on his head. And uh, speaking of Ashley, if he picks her up and she has no health left, she is dead, no matter what. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Yeah, she's gone. Your mission has failed. In fact, though, let's have some fun with that. Let's let's get some more fish and mail going on right here. Let's drop El Gigante on her. All right, I'm backing up, and... What? Oh, come on! Apparently, I take priority when it comes to El Gigante falling on us. There you go, Ashley. I took a giant for you. Okay, this should go a lot better. I'm actually having her stay right there. I've killed him. Let's move over here. And... Boom! <laughs> oh, if you hate Ashley, this is the episode for you. Fish and mailed. Oh, uh, what other fun things can we do with Ashley? Here we go. I've got an idea. See that? I've never done this before. I've Wait. never done... Oh, this is going to be good. Will this actually work? She's right there. Boop! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That was hilarious. Something out of a Wile E. Coyote cartoon. Fantastic. And I'm sure a lot of you were curious about this. I'm actually going to have Ashley get taken away. Just so you can see what happens. If a villager picks her up and takes her to a loading zone. Ta-da! You lose. Mission failed. You can't actually go and get her. As soon as she's gone, she's gone. I love how she gets, like, one more yell before it goes to continue, yes or no. And just because a few of you might be curious about this, uh, some unique deaths do happen in this game, and I do want to show them off. I didn't show it off with the first chainsaw guy, so let's just have the sister take my head off. Suck it, Resident Evil 5. You didn't have the balls to show something like that. Oh, that's a lot of death. Next time on Resident Evil 4, we're going to finish up Chapter 2-3. See you guys next time.